Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I've done a look on a classic red lip, perfect for the upcoming festive season. So if you'd like to see how I've created this look, then just keep on watching the video. Okay, so to start with, we'll use a primer. Today I'm using Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. A nice little travel size one, ideal if you're going away over Christmas or anything. And then for foundation, I'm using Makeup Forever HD Foundation and using a Morphe M439 brush to blend that all in. I'm just starting with a little bit of foundation and then building it up until I get the coverage and the colour that I'm looking for. Next is concealer and I've got the Urban Decay Naked Concealer. Favourite concealer of, of all time at the minute, I really love this concealer. I'm putting it in triangle shapes under each eye and also around the underneath of the nose where I can get a little bit of red throughout the day and blending that in with a damp Real Techniques beauty sponge. When I'm blending that out I'm also bringing it onto the eyelid, it works as a really nice eyeshadow primer as well. To set the concealer and foundation I'm using Rimmel Match Perfection um, just translucent powder, it's a loose powder. I've got a Real Technique setting brush, that's a really small brush just to get under the eye area where we've put the concealer and then going in with a bigger fluffier brush for the rest of the face. If you're going to use any blusher, bronzer, contouring it helps to set your foundation first just so it blends in nicely. So now we're using a little bit of contouring, this is Bobbi Brown Bronzer with a Real Techniques contour brush. Just starting with a little bit of product and then building that up, just tapping it on the face and then blending it out. Also going to put a little bit down the nose, not too much of a contour, just a little bit. And then going with a bigger brush, is a Real Techniques powder brush, just to do around the forehead, under the jawline and on the chin. For blush, I've got just a MAC blush brush and MAC Melba. That's going on the apples of the cheeks and then just blending that out towards the airline. And just for a little bit of highlighter, this is MAC Soft and Gentle. I'm just going to use my ring finger rather than a brush to apply this. Put a little bit on my finger and then just dab it onto the top of the cheekbones. I'm not going to oh, too much with the highlighter, just a real subtle touch there. And now onto brows, I'm using the Rimmel Brow Pencil. This is in the shade 03 Brunette. It's got a little spoolie at one end, so I'm going to be constantly brushing out my eyebrows throughout applying the product and then just using the pencil end just to fill them in. Mainly focusing first of all on the outer corner and then bringing that back in and I'm focusing on the colour and the shape. Just keep going, brushing out, adding more product until I'm happy with the final result. Now onto the eyes and this is the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I'm starting with that lightest shade which is called Strange, just with a Real Techniques flat brush. That's going onto the eyelid and also onto the brow bone just to highlight that area a little bit. Just take your time with the eyes, keep applying more product until you're happy with how they look and you can always go back in and touch that up throughout the makeup look. Next we're going in with Limit which is a very very light, slightly mauvey brown colour and that's with a slightly fluffier Real Techniques brush and that's going just above that crease area, just in between the crease and the, the brow bone and again taking time to blend that out. This is just a really nice transition colour. Okay, and now go back in with Nuna, which is a darker brown, and with a shading brush, shockingly by Real Techniques again, and that's focusing into the crease area and also into the outer V, so the darker product is always focusing on the outer corner of the eye. 
Again, taking time to blend that out, start with a little bit of product and build it up until you get the desired effect. It's so much easier to build that colour up rather than put too much on in one go and try to get rid of some. And with that same brush and the same shade Nuna, I'm also going to bring that below on the bottom lash line as well and blend that out. I'm now going to use Bourjois Mega Liner in Ultra Black just for a very, very thin, simple line just right across the lash line. So I'm not winging this out, nothing fancy, just a really thin line right into that lash line. And the key to, to applying eyeliner is just take your time, start with small little strokes and build it up. Don't try and do one long line right across the lid, just do nice little strokes and build that in together. And then after I've curled my eyelashes, I'm then going to apply two different mascaras just because I like to use a couple at a time. I've got the L'Oreal Voluminous Extra Black and the Maybelline One by One Volume Express Mascara in black. I'm applying a coat to the top and bottom lashes. Now onto eyelashes, I've got the Ardell Demi Wispies, I'm applying a little bit of glue and applying them with a tweezer to my eye. I'm just letting the glue set just for maybe 15 to 20 seconds, let it get a little bit tacky and then it'll stick easier onto your lash line. Okay now onto the start of the show, it's the lips. So this is a fantastic lip liner, I love this at the minute, it's so inexpensive, it's from Asda, from the George range and it's in the shade 03 Hollywood Red, I recently picked it up and it is brilliant, it stays so well and it's so exp inexpensive, 2 or 3 pounds maybe, so I'm lining the full lip and also filling it all in as well. I mean, you could wear this colour on its own as it is, it's that beautiful. But I'm going to go in on top with a lipstick and this is the Rimmel 170 Alarm. A really beautiful red, matches the lip liner almost perfectly and that's going all over the lips. Now for just a few finishing touches to the look. I'm now going to set my eyebrows with the Maybelline Brow Drama Mascara. This is in the shade Medium Brown. And I'm also going to set all the hard work we've done on our face with the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. And that is the completed makeup look done guys. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye for now.